What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my weekly recap for the latest episode for Star Wars The Bad Batch. And in this case, I will be reviewing episode number 12, Rescue on Ryloth. So this was actually a particularly good episode in that we kind of get the um, a similar sort of uh, story arc as we saw in the Clone Wars as far as the Ryloth trilogy goes and the clone troopers um helping the um champ sandula out but in this case we got the bad batch helping Hera sandula so kind of like the clone wars the next generation with the clone troopers on the reverse side so it's a continuation of last week's episode where um we have um cham sandula and his wife being put in prison and all that and the uprising kind of being squashed. Um, they're also being pinned for trying to assassinate the senator. So all of that was good. And overall, I did enjoy this particular story or episode because we have a budding relationship between Omega and um, Hera. So I'm actually curious to see if they ultimately um, cultivate that relationship or um, if that kind of if we have kind of a look into the future when Hera joins up with the Rebellion or how she ends up with Kanan and all of that to tie everything together and to tie the Bad Bash story arc back to episode one or I believe episode one where we have the Bad Bash and uh, or the backstory to um, Kanan so um it kind of feels like that's kind of where they're going to end up with to tie all of that those various elements together so all of that was good and um, the other parts that, or the other reasons why I liked um, this particular episode was we had a couple of um, what I felt were throwbacks to the Star Wars original trilogy. And the first was when Hera is um, asking the Bad Batch for help. So that actually felt very reminiscent of um, R2-D2 sending Obi-Wan's message or sorry, um, sending Leia's message to Obi-Wan um, asking for help. So this um, scene, while not a perfect um, recreation of that scene, it had the various elements. So you, got, you get that plea for help, for being oppressed, and ultimately needing help. So when you see that scene, it just to me, that was the first thing that popped into my head was it felt very familiar, and that's what it reminded me of. And the other scene reminded me of a scene from um, Return of the Jedi where... We have, um, in this case, we have um, Hera and Omega trying to break into the base and they use the um, shuttle to blast down the door. And that reminded me of Return of the Jedi in the um, satellite base where um, the, uh, the rebels use the walker to blast down the door to the base to unlock it. So kind of and again not quite a remapping of a classic scene but recreated for the bad batch so for me it felt like a not necessarily an easter egg but a scene or two two scenes that have throwbacks to the original trilogy and the rebellion and rebels just because it feels like the bad batch is establishing more of the backstory as far as the rebellion goes and um, some of the empire so that's why we're see we see had a couple of see events with um, Tarkin and which I hope we do see more of but I kind of I'm hoping that we get to see more of these kind of tie-ins to fill in some backstory related information scenes um, and throwbacks and things like that to connect all of the events so that's all there is for this particular review so like I said overall it's a good scene we have the bad batch now moving on so we'll kind of see or it's a continuation to see where they'll go from here, what they're up to, or what they're going to do. If they, get to, if they get more missions related to the Rebellion or various other elements related to the Rebellion and not necessarily connected until um, we get to the end of the season. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, um, Easter eggs of your own, things you like, dislike, and all of that for this episode, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show. Um, if you want an ad-free version of the show, then you can um, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. 
But that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in and subscribing and supporting and listening to the show. And until next time.